Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and this is going to be a football Q&A which is something I've never done before but hey there's a first time for everything we're just gonna have my Gibraltar challenge in the back I'm pretty bad at it but whatever it's all good in the it's all good in the hood but uh, let's get started with the first question here um, what is it who, what is your favorite club um, personally, AC Milan's my favorite club, but the Philadelphia Union are favorite because they're local, and it's not like they're in the same league, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, AC Milan and the Philadelphia Union. Um, who is your favorite player? Now, I don't know if the, if they were asking from the same club as my favorite club or just in general, but in general, it's Lucas Podolski. Don't know why. I've just always really liked Lucas Podolski, probably because of the Lucas Podolski song, honestly. But, um, yeah, Lucas Podolski, I'd say, is my favorite. Favorite goal ever, uh, the Ibrahimovic bicycle kick against England. That was extremely impressive. We impress all of. <laughs> um, will Arsenal sign a striker this transfer window? Absolutely not. It's Arsenal. I don't even think that's a question. Will Paul Pogba join Man United? No. Don't think he will. Um, what do you think about the Mario Goethe and Gundogan transfers with Dortmund? I think it's a good transfer bringing Goethe back to Dortmund because he is a very talented player in my opinion. Either way. And losing Gundogan for the money they got for him, I really don't think it's that big of a loss. He was injured all the time anyway, so what's the difference? Gundogan was a very talented player, and if he can stay fit, he's a good player. But I think the money they got for him was way too much to turn down. Um, this one, these next few questions come from Cameron. Uh, he asks, um, "Would you rather play with Ronaldo or Messi, and why?" I would. I would personally rather play with Messi. But I'm a keeper, so I don't think it would make too much of a difference. But if I were to play field, I feel like Messi's a better team player, you know? I feel like he'd pass the ball more. So, yeah, probably Messi. And best five players in the world in order. I'm going to go with Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, Suarez, Ibrahimovic. Gee, that was, <laughs> that was impressive. I just rattled them off. Um... Now, um, what what is your position and why did you choose it? Who is your inspiration in that position? Uh, I play goalkeeper. I just pretty much chose it because I sucked at field. <laughs> but I've gotten better at field, so not too big of a deal. And my inspiration was, why not? That's literally the only inspiration I have. Sorry, I don't have some emotional story that... I saw a puppy run across my front lawn and realized I have to be a goalkeeper. That's not the story. Um, is Paul Pogba overrated? No. Is he overpriced? Yes. I think everyone in football is overpriced, honestly. Like, he's worth more than the Juventus Stadium, for crying out loud. I think most clubs would rather have an actual stadium to play in than just one center midfielder. But I don't think he's overrated. I do think he's probably the best, one of the best center mids in the world and one of the most talented young players in the world. But he is overpriced by far. Um, these next four questions or so come from Cliston. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. But um, predict the top five league winners. Um, Bundesliga, Bayern, once again, Italy, Juventus once again. Uh, Premier League, I'm going to go with Manchester City. Um, drawing a huge blank here. BBVA, I'm going to go with, let's say in the BBVA, Barcelona will win the league. I just think that's probably the most likely. And, yeah. Uh, FIFA or Pez? I personally play both. But I think FIFA is better. I enjoy them both, but FIFA is just a better game in general. So, uh, Nike or Adidas? Adidas. 
Um, what do you think about Umtiti and Dennis Suarez going back to Barcelona? Um, well, not Dennis Suarez is going back. Umtiti's never been there. I think Umtiti. I think he'll learn a lot. I I don't think he'll get much first team experience yet. But you know, um, because you have defenders like PK and Mascherano to learn from, and they're both getting on. So he'll have some play time in a couple years, and hopefully he'll develop into a very nice player. Um, Dennis Suarez, I honestly don't know if he should have went back to Barcelona. Maybe asked for a loan or a transfer because he's just not going to play. I think he's hit his peak. I don't think they have anyone that's almost gone because he plays more of a wing role, honestly. I don't think he can really play a center mid. From what I've seen from him, so it's not like he can take Iniesta's place. So I don't really understand the point of them taking him back. They're just gonna have him sit on the bench. And um, Pianic to Juve, what do you think about it? I think it's great transfer for both involved. I think Pianic wants to win titles. I think he wants to challenge in Europe more. Not that Roma didn't, and not that Roma aren't a great club, but. Um, I think Juventus are more competitive than Roma, and um, Juve didn't sign him for ridiculous money. Like it's everything's ridiculous nowadays, but for football standards, it was not too much for a really good central midfielder. So not too bad. Um, this one comes from Fox in the Box. Um, favorite team you don't support. This is a very interesting question, honestly, but I'm going to have to go with, ironically, his team that he supports, Watford, because I really like Watford, honestly. I always have. They signed um, They signed the type of players that I think like I would like if I was managing a team, and they kind of, and they really impressed me with staying up and not being threatened at all. So I'd say probably Watford or Borussia Dortmund because in Germany, like my favorite German team is Bayern Munich, but I do kind of have a soft spot for Dortmund. I don't hate Borussia Dortmund. I just, I think Borussia Dortmund ha- have a lot of cool players like Royce and Aubameyang, which I like individually. And last question here before we wrap this up. What do you think of Big Sam becoming the England manager? I think he's better than Woy Hodgson. Um, Woy had a was a wreckage at the at the Euros, so you know I don't think he can do any worse. I think Big Sam has never really failed. If you think about it, he's never done badly in a job, and now that he's finally got some better players, I think he'll do pretty well. Honestly, I'm not saying he's gonna win the World Cup. But will he get to the quarterfinals? Maybe maybe semis pushing it? Well, no. No, not semis. Quarterfinals of the World Cup? Yeah, maybe. But uh, anyway, guys, that will wrap up this football Q&A. And if you guys enjoyed it, please smash a thumbs up and tell me down in the comments you want to see more. And always free, feel free to message me questions on Twitter at any time for the next Q&A. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.